to the Davin's Watch Mage's Guild. Quick! Quick! There is an urgent task for you.
I never knew that about Neches. Have to try that next time I'm in the field. If you came for crafting certification, I can assist you. Over here! We have much to discuss, you and I. I'll have his heart. Ah, excellent. You got my message. Apparently, that little creature isn't completely useless. Banekin can be such children. I can't be strutting around the city wearing my imperial regalia, can I? Your concern about my fashion sense is touching, but irrelevant. I've called you here for a reason. If we are to determine a course of action, we need more information. By now, it should be clear your prophet emperor brought these catastrophic events upon us. Everything that transpired is his fault. Granted, Minimarco can be very persuasive and charismatic when he wants to be. We all believed him when he said we could change Varen's bloodline with the Amulet of Kings. You saved Varen's life when you rescued him in Cold Harbor. In return, he lied to you about his true identity and his part in causing the Soul Burst. He manipulated you from the very start. Perhaps the better question is, why don't you blame Varen? Varen wants to assemble a new group of companions in the vein of the original five. Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Superstitious nonsense, but he is quite correct on one point. We need to find Sai Sahan. In the chaos following the Soul Burst, Sahan stole the Amulet of Kings and fled the Imperial City. We're going to need that relic, and he is the only one who knows its current location. He was captured by Minimarco's agents and taken to an undisclosed location. We need to find out where he's being held. Minimarco keeps his most secret documents at Knife Ear Grotto in Deshan, inside a hidden lair of Daedric cultists. We must travel there and search for clues. Head to Knife Ear Grotto in the eastern mountains of Deshan. I will meet you inside. If I can endure Titanborn's inane prattle, I can survive your assuredly erudite elucidations. Proceed. Ah, there's the rub. With my untimely defection. My family will likely be divested of its holdings. The name Tharn is probably being stricken from every document in the Imperial Archives as we speak. I detest being on the wrong side of history. Don't sound so smug about it. This is a setback, nothing more. By allying with you, I will liberate the Empire from Menemarco's grip. The Empire is all that matters to me. I will do what I must to ensure its survival. Clivia. She is comfortably lodged in Menemarco's pocket, along with my nephew, Javard. I doubt they've given my disappearance a second thought. Ah, fair Clivia. My charming girl grew to be a ruthlessly ambitious woman. I taught her well. Well, if you must pry, I am Chancellor to the Elder Council and Overlord of Nibine. But of all my titles, the greatest is my family name, Tharn. We are the greatest of the noble houses, with seats at the Imperial Court for countless centuries. Politicians? A grossly inadequate word to describe our duties and our legacy. The Tharns have a storied history of advising kings and emperors that can be traced back to the First Era. We understand the ebb and flow of power.
requests your help. I can fit you. We even have it. Let's go. Sorry. Stranger, may we speak? to me before entering Mournhold, oh. citizen.
Welcome, friend. You won't find it.
Watching you thoroughly will please me. Kajiti defilers have ruined us.
Dragonborn following you around like a lost puppy? Important piece of the puzzle, to be sure, but where is he being kept? The amulet of the kings of glory, an artifact of the divines, a badge of office for the ruling emperors of Cyrodiil, and the key to my ascendancy. Yet it eludes me. Exploiting its power to bring about the calamity of our age was intoxicating. It made me aware of the limitless possibilities available to one strong enough and fearless enough to use it to achieve his own ends. The amulet has the power to create or destroy, but it also has the power to undo the damage caused by the soul burst, to mend the tear in the barrier between Nern and Oblivion. I must recover it before some fool fixes that which must remain broken. He knows of our plan to use the amulet to set things right. We must rescue Sai Sahan before he can be broken.
The Red Guard's iron will cannot be overcome with standard interrogation techniques. Physical tortures appear to be useless. I have therefore instructed the Daedra to move Sai Sahan into the Halls of Torment. The Duchess will be most pleased to have a new guest. His flesh is strong, but perhaps her tortures of the mind will break him. I have come too far to allow this upstart swordmaster to thwart my plans. I will find the amulet, one way or another. This is the information we've been looking for. At last, Sai Sahan has been taken to the Halls of Torment. Oh yes, it's Cold Harbor's most nefarious prison. The Daedra in the Halls of Torment reach deep into the dark places of a prisoner's mind and torture them with apparitions of the things they most... At last, Oh, yeah. It's an effective tactic? Of course I can. I am Abnathan. But first, I have a bit more research to do. Go back to the Harbridge and tell Varen what we've discovered. I'll meet you there once I've made the necessary preparations.
You buying or just talk? has need of you, comrade. Got what you need. Look, I've got clean socks. A word. What can I offer you? What can I offer you?
An unexpected visit. What brings you back? At last! Where can he be found? Well done. I will begin searching for a safe route. I was going to say that a river flows and we are slaves to its current. But I am done with riddles and metaphors. I don't know what awaits us. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a foolish old man who glimpsed the wisdom of the scrolls and survived. When Tarn returns, we will combine our resources. We will find a path to these halls of torment soon enough.
message. Meet me at the harborage. We are ready to rescue Said Sahar. Yes, I see. And you are the most qualified... Why? Is it your superior knowledge of Cold Harbor? Your expertise in dealing with Daedric entities? Or is it simply the unrequited puppy love you feel for that shirtless mammoth? The time has come for another foray into Oblivion Vestige. We have one last ally in need of rescue. Indeed, Abnathan and I have been meditating, scrying, and poring over Menemarko's notes. And at long last, we've discovered the location of the Halls of Torment. Our friend has suffered unimaginable and unending torment for nearly two years. Far longer than any mortal man should endure. But Saisahan is something more than mortal man. He's a descendant of Leki, the Yokudan Sword Saint. I've seen it. We have been able to determine the precise area of the halls where Sai is being held. This is why we were so long about the task. I shall open a portal for you. Lyris and Abner have both agreed to accompany you, but I fear their mutual enmity will complicate your task. Speak with You look perplexed. What inscrutable riddles is Varen spouting now? Did he? What surprisingly good advice. Titanborn and I are more likely to kill each other than we are to help. The choice is yours. But I recommend choosing brains over brawn. I have valuable knowledge of the Daedra. And don't forget, I'm the mage. A very wise decision. One you won't regret. Trust me. Shall we go? We've a Red Guard sword master to rescue. Go with Amna. Save Saisahan from the Halls of Torment. Damnation is going on here. Tell me, or I'll gut you like a fish with your own sword.
Well, that was unnerving. Can't say that I've ever had to kill a version of myself before, but I must say, even as an evil doppelganger, I'm a very capable opponent. They were a legendary group of Red Guard swordmasters, wiped out in the first era by the Yokudan Emperor Hira. Sahan spent years trying to resurrect their ancient traditions, but failed utterly. He considered it his greatest failure. The torturers here are using Sahan's memories and darkest fears against him in an attempt to break his will. He and I were never close. In truth, I enjoyed mocking him. I had no idea how deeply it affected him. Interesting. Oh please, we're adults, aren't we? The day I start considering people's feelings before speaking my mind is the day my efficacy as a politician comes to an end. When that day comes, just kill me outright, I beg of you. Oh, my God. 
Vestige, hold a moment. Well, well, well. Wasn't that a charming little scene? I can't wait to mock, to tell Titanborn all about it. Are you as blind as your vagabond emperor? The first room was about Sahan's failures. This room is obviously an attempt to leverage his subconscious desires. So, our Red Guard friend has a secret crush on the half-giant. A revolting. Please. Titanborn has all the emotional depth of a frost atronach. But who knew Sahan was that sentimental? Then again, he did resist her charms. Good thing, too. That truly would have been a farewell kiss. I can only assume she's Sahan's personal torturer. I have a sneaking suspicion we'll be meeting her again very soon. Come, let's keep moving. Many visitors in the halls of torment, but there's always room for a few more permanent residents. Pain releases bonds quickly. I do not know you. Why are you here? Who sent you? The Emperor? He lives? This day is filled. They tortured me for many months. Years, perhaps, but I did not break my vow. The amulet is hidden and safe. My strength is returning. Lead on. You have done it, Vestige. Bring him through the portal quickly.
Tysahan lives. You've outdone yourself, Vestige. The minds of some men can endure hardships far greater than anything that Daedra can concoct. The forces of loyalty, honor, and friendship are powerful. We must recover the Amulet of Kings, but only when Sai Sahan has had time to recover. He is a man of great strength, but he will still need to rest after such an ordeal. Sai locked the Amulet away in the ruins of San Kator and entrusted the key to one of his close associates. But he can tell you himself. Speak with him. He's eager to meet his liberator. I'll contact you when we're ready to move forward. I owe you my life. My lord calls you Vestige. A strange name. Stranger still. My people say that bravery and honor are the hallmarks of a great soul. Yet you have both of those things in great measure. I had begun to think that honor was a relic of the past. You give me hope. I cannot say. Physically, I am unharmed. But mentally, I feel a darkness in my heart. A weight on my soul. I do not know how long this emptiness will remain. I hid the amulet in a sacred catacomb protected by magical wards. The means of lifting these wards are in the keeping of my old mentor, Kasura. As soon as I am able, we must meet with her. I will try to rest, but I am a warrior. We cannot sit still for very long. <coughs> and I should certainly bathe before we meet with Kasura. I am unpleasantly... fragrant. And if she happened to be downwind of me, well, I would never hear the end of it. The path ahead of us is a dark one, but it pleases me to know that I shall walk the path with friends. May we all rest a little easier tonight. I know I shall. <laughs>